Are you a leader or are you a manager? And in this video series, we're just kind of talking about the difference between management and leadership and the simple distinction that we're going to stay with is management is earned, right, through a promotion or, you know, some sort of title or, or um, you know, whatever it is, and leadership is learned. And, and leadership really is learned. Um, and so what I thought I'd do is I'd shoot this video and talk about what leadership looks like at my house. And I'm going to use an example with my two boys, right? So Trey is nine, Brecken is six, and we had a really, really powerful coaching leadership moment while we were camping this past weekend. And I thought I'd share it with you because I think it's important um, to talk about um, leadership and how we're teaching, right? In the previous video, I talked about you have to be learning you have to be teaching, and then you have to have accountability. And I had a really powerful teaching moment uh, with my boys. So we were out camping, and they were riding their dirt bikes around, and they were kind of getting bored because they were kind of doing the you know uh, same thing uh, over and over again. So I pulled them over, and I said, okay, here's the deal. We're going to play follow the leader. Uh, Trey, you're going to uh, take a lap, and Breck, you're going to follow, and then after that lap, uh, Breck will uh, lead and Trey you'll follow and you know just to just to kind of break it up as if you have boys you understand that they got to be you know constantly uh, pushed and so they take off right and you, and, you, and I hear Trey just say okay follow me right and then it's just off like full throttle and I look up and Trey's coming back around to finish the first lap and I don't see Breck. So Trey stops and I say, uh, where's your brother? He says, I don't know. <laughs> I said, right. And you can imagine what's going on, right? This is, this is so typical of boys, uh, or siblings for that matter. And I just said to, to Trey, I said, okay, here's the deal. You, you were the leader. Right. And and Breck was to follow you. But here's what you what you need to understand, Trey, is that if you're leading, you still need to look back and see if Breck is behind you because you know where you're going and and he doesn't. He's following you. He's trusting you. And the thing that you need to understand is right. And I'm talking to my my uh, nine year old is you need to look back and see if Brecken needs support because that's the relationship that you need to have, right? Just because you're the big brother doesn't make you uh, or give you authority, right? Or make you a leader. Just because you're the big brother makes you a manager, doesn't make you a leader, right? That's a really powerful analogy, right? So the lesson was to, to Trayson is, Okay, you got to look back and see if your little brother needs support. And if he needs support, then you need to go back and you need to give that to him because that's what he's looking for. He's willing to follow you, but he might need help. He might need support. He might get lost. He might fall over. And that's what you do as a leader is you help, you support, and you serve the people you are leading. Listen, you know where you're going, right? You got a vision, you got a mission. You're you're going, you know, balls to the walls. But the people behind you is who you need to be supporting and serving. And that's the stuff that we talk about. We talk about leadership in our family. We talk about that with my boys. As a dad, that's what I need to be teaching them. I want them to be incredible humans. I want them to be incredible leaders. Listen, I have my undergrad degree from Boise State University. Not one time did I ever take a course on leadership. Not one time did I learn about relationships. I learned that from my family, from my dad, from my mom, from my great grandparents, right? That's what I'm passing down to them. They can get all the mechanics and all the other stuff through school and whatnot, but my job, my responsibility as a dad, 
<clears throat> is to teach them to be leaders, to serve. When, um, when Trayson gets ready to go to school and I drop him off, I always say this to him, Trayson, be a warrior today. You need to help someone, you need to teach someone, and you need to be respectful. Nothing fancy, nothing, what, nothing complicated, right? He's nine, but I am always talking about leadership. And the question I have for you is, are you talking about leadership in your organizations? Are you recommending books? Are you creating space for people to learn? Are you supporting them? And, and the thing that I like, and this should be another video, is the difference between helping and supporting. If you're helping someone, that's great, but are you really enabling them or are you helping them? I like to use the word support. I really like the word serve, and we see a lot, uh, hear a lot about you know, servant leadership. Listen, as parents, as professionals, as partners, as spouses, we need to be leading. We also need to be following, right? I talked about that in, in another video. We don't always have to be in a position in, in the front of the room, all right? And so, so with Trey and Breck, right, Breck is following. He's learning from Trayson. What do you think he's learning when he sees his big brother come back to help him with whatever the struggle is that he's having. And how is that going to carry forward in Trayson's life? And how is that going to carry forward in Brecken's life? That's really powerful. Those are, those are the small things in, in the ripples. Are you talking about leadership through the with the people that are around in, in your life, in your sphere, with your friends, with your spouse, with your kids, right? I mean, people say, well, I'm, I'm not a leader. I, I'm not a manager. No, you are. You are the leader of yourself. You are the leader of yourself. Leadership starts with you. Anyway, that's all I got on this video on leading ship, right? The, the act and the, and the growth of being a leader. Um, you are amazing, be amazing today, and help someone be amazing. Stay tuned for my next video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.